Yeah, they just go out and have a good time. And Open trailer doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. It does not. You know? I, 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 I didn't mean that. In a, in no, a, I know, I know in what you're saying. Yeah. Just saying, a lot of people will look at you and say, "Oh, he's on an open trailer." Yeah. Then you yeah. unload and whip him and load up. Right, roll, right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Put the I, money where it needs to be. That's right. The trailer, <laughs> and that's what the Foley's do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, John's got a good mindset on on uh, on how she races and and the adjustments on the car. You know, he'll uh, he'll let her tell him to make a bad adjustment, so she knows she'll learn. She, and she learns, and she learn. He says he she's a quick study. She yeah. knows right away. Okay, that was wrong. I won't do that again. That's right. Yeah. So that's, so, that's how you learn. Learn yeah. your mistakes. Yeah. Hats off to those guys down in Arizona. And, yeah, a good group of people. And around the country. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, Lambert Speedway, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Last Saturday. First of all, I want to bring up, because we haven't changed the commercial on the show yet, oh. uh, Shaw, Brooke Shaw Driving School, June 8th and 9th. If you guys want to get in there with any car but a sprint car, or, you know, I mean, it's it's... Is that is that what they're stating? Oh, well, Any car but a sprint car. Pretty much is what it is. Yeah. I mean, bottom line. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So it's June eighth and ninth, and you guys can find that at uh, I think it's Larry Shaw Racecars dot com is where you know their homepage. It's all listed on there. Do um, we have anything we'll, on we'll, Moxie on that? Yeah, we'll put a link up on that later. Okay. And, and that is that's been changed to June eighth and ninth. So if you haven't registered, you still have time. Uh, when you do call to register, there is a one hundred dollar deposit to make sure you're serious. There will be a day of classroom, a day of on track, where you ask anybody that was there last year. Yep. It's a big deal getting out there with Kevin. I didn't hear Kevin one Shaw. single negative from the guys no. that went last year. Everybody was, was pumped about what they learned. And, and, it, and again, it was like Kelsey and John Foley, you know, the guys were doing opposites of what they thought they were doing the right, right. thing. And, and they quickly learned that mm-hmm. um, here, here's the professionals telling you how to do it. And, oh, my God. Did that work? Hell yes, it worked. Well, that's like Mike Medell said here on the on Northwest Dirt News on the um, driver live segments on at the car at show. At the car show, he said right? He attended one of those classes down in California, and he said, "Here, I thought I was doing the right thing. Right, and I was right. doing exactly 180 degrees out." Yep. And once I made those changes, because I couldn't believe how good that race car work is. It said yep. it made it easy to drive. Yep. So it's a huge, you know, I mean, a wealth of knowledge coming from two very talented guys. On chassis setup and 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 driving, and they'll, they, he's two laps. And you you would think that uh, we're getting something out of this advertising the we're Brookshaw not. Driving School. We're not getting a thing out of it. It's we're just, not. It's, we're just, just it's just a phenomenal thing that that if you can do it, do it. Do it. Absolutely. Gonna, you're going to learn from it. If you're serious about your it. racing program and you want to step it up and make the changes, um, highly recommended from past people. What do you got? <laughs> something on the first truck line? Through fucking top line, easy for me to say. I know. What are you guys on there, bro? I don't know. Fucking buttons on action. Watching lights are out. Green flag in hand. We're going to try to do it one more time in a turn four. Dan Dabble will lead the field to the green flag. So cool. Yeah, cool. Turn three. Here comes the 37 of Rob Baya. Headbangers and Lambert. He clears Elliott. He is your new leader. Rob Baya. Total accident. Yeah, I just got it. It's, it's a delay there. Sorry. That's my fault. So, back to what we were talking about, the Brookshaw Driving School. Um, well, I'm at Speedway, rolling into that segment. Um, I thought I thought we were going to get the whole show in. I did, too. And and you know what? Hats off to Jerry Schramm. They tried. He did. He stood right there with, with all of us down there by the flag stand, under the flag stand, and uh, he, he waited. I mean, the, when the track started looking like, Greece, and you know everybody knew it. That it's over, and and he, and, and and he even, finally called it. But he did yeah. wait while it was still coming down, mm-hmm. and and gave well, it an honest shot at trying. Here's the thing about that too: we're standing down by the flag stand, and there's four or five people with their phones out and their radars looking. Okay, right. this is where we're at. This is where it's moving and trying to figure out how long it's going to take. And it just wasn't going to work to our favor. No. Unfortunately, they had to call the show just before the late model feature. But right. before we get into all that, which we'll talk about later. Let's talk about some of the changes at the track to the program with the new format. Uh huh. Um, we start the day with qualifying, then you go into heats first, then the dashes. On the front stretch, we'll do the redraw for whatever classes we're doing the feature. You know, the redraw that night. This last week, it was the late models, right? And then you go into the features. Okay. Um, what did you think about that format? Um. I don't know. You know, back in the day, they, uh, I believe that 
the the main event was started according to heat race finishing positions. Was it not? Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, and then and then it depends with on what the fast car being about. in the back. Right. So actually, what it was was a, it was based off qualifying with a full invert fast qualifier in the back. Okay. Okay. That's the way. The Clarinal did it for 45 years. Yeah. So the faster you qualified, the farther back you started. Now, there were special occasions where there was nights where there was certain 100 lappers where if you were the fast guy, you started on the front row or whatever invert they did. Right. Um, but 99.9% of the time, it was fast. Like you said, fast guys to the back, but it was typically based off your qualifying times. Yeah. Which means dashes meant nothing. Dashes and, never have meant anything. Right. They do now. Yeah, they do now. Heat races other than scoring a few championship points, really didn't mean anything because you didn't have to race your way in. You were locked in by your qualifying time and then transferred out of the, you know, if there was a B main or whatever, you transferred four, I think is what it was. We transferred four. Okay, out right, of the right. Main. Little different program here with what they've got going on in 2017. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know about the, the drawing before the feature for the, for whichever class is picked that night. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing that... If you get, if you get the, the number one... Well, the hell yeah, you're going to be happy. <laughs> right. <laughs> but if you don't, I mean, you know, you got it. Mm-hmm. You know, there's so one here, and eight the other but night. Here's the here's for me. This is and this is all new. This is something I'm not used to. And I'm not saying it's a bad program. I'm not saying it's a bad format. Is it going to be hard for me to personally get used to this? Yes. Yes. And this is why. Because the first, you know, the, the first of the night starts out with qualifying. That's normal. Okay. From qualifying, they go into the heats. Now, the heats determine who makes it to – what. so the heats help set up the main event, okay? Correct when I say that. And so heats help set up the main event, but then the dash cars, okay? So here – so <clears> You're going to have to dumb this down okay, for me. So here's what it is. Qualifying comes out. They all qualify. Okay, everybody gets their lap times in. So basically out of qualifying, you get the four cars for the dash – you do out of qualifying, out of right. qualifying, and that's basically right. all you get out of qualifying, is it not? Well, you get four championship points if you win. Well, three, two, but you one. just get the dash for the setup. Dash. Right. That's all that comes out of qualifying. All that comes out of qualifying is the four fastest cars to the dash. Right. Okay. Then, then your heat races. Okay. So, if you win your heat race or the top two, depending on how many cars there are. Right. Now, I think we had. I want to say we had four heat races which had eight drivers on the front stretch at Trophy Dash presentation during the dashes to draw on the redraw. We had eight chips. Right, for the late models. Here's what I didn't like. And, and again, I I think it's just because it's so new. Maybe, I mean, I'll try to get used to this, but this is different. So your winners, your top top two from each heat come up onto the dash or on the front stretch, and they draw for their starting position in the main. Now, if you're the fastest car, okay, and you come out, after winning your heat race, and you're in the redraw, and you draw an envelope and pull out number one, and you start on the pole, that is something. I, 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 again, I just don't like that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if there's going to be any getting used to that. It, it's. It's after for after forty plus years yeah. watching fast guys start in the back to see. And again, it's a luck thing. You it's, know, I mean, luck of the draw. It is. To and and that kind of puts a little excitement in it, but to see it does, but but it can be. I don't know. It just, I would it, love uh, to hear fans' perspective. Uh, me on too. This deal. Me too. Fans' perspective, and we didn't get and to we, see any any racing. And that's, that's another the, thing. That's the thing right there. So we don't know what would have happened because we had eight cars in the redraw that were. I mean, well, I'll tell you, I knew four of them out there that weren't very happy. <laughs> right, four at of least them were. <laughs> and four, four of them were. were. Four were. But right. the thing about it was, all eight of those cars were so fast. They were. Oh my gosh, we were coming. To, we were going to have such a great late model race. Let's talk about our redraw real quick. Is this? Okay. This, I mean, okay. So I don't recall exactly who got what. I I got a night. I don't remember exactly who, but I know we had Rob Mann, John Duty, right? Joey Tanner, right? Steve Moore, right? Bryce and James. Uh huh. We had. Um, there's five of the eight. Who else was in that draw? Um, I think. No, I don't think Campus was. But I mean, okay. So just that, just being said, those five cars. Okay. Um, uh, I'm trying apologies, to apologies yeah, for it, not being able to recall. To we don't have any results. Like, it, I, yeah, I, you know. So. Uh, oh my gosh. It was. 
Somebody's going to kick us in the butt here. Probably. But to see those guys. Feel free to call in, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember who else was in that draw. Oh, um, this is terrible. Weinbarger. It, I'm sure. I think Colin was up. Yeah, Colin Weinbarger was up there. There's six. Okay. But it's just, I, I would rather see. This is just me, and this is what I'm used to, and this is, you know, like I said, what I grew up watching. Fast guys in the back and earn their way to the front. And, you know, I mean, we've seen so many drivers win championships this way. All right. Going back to the, you know, Granny Earp and. Oh, yeah. And Jordan Epperson. Jordan Epperson and Don Wilson. Yeah. And, you know, and the list goes on and on of right. who's who. Nine Norm of, Davis. Right. So you're looking at you're looking at these legendary drivers. You know, we can call them legends. Uh -huh. Atlanta, yeah, that won their championships from the back row. Yeah. Now Bob Jeffrey, perfect example. And another one, yeah. Starts in the back row. Eighteen. Eight. Oh, Joey Tanner. I, I mentioned and, Joey and and, and Dan Dybel. Dan Dybel. That's right. <laughs> that's who we, we didn't mention. So um, <laughs> we're talking that's about. Good. Thank you, producer. You know, <laughs> and, and anybody. Oh, can that was say, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> so people will argue. Well, you can't win from the back against cars like that. Well, we watched Bob Jeffrey win eighteen out of twenty-two starts. Yeah. With a V six against the fuel injected four tens and the four thirty fours and big old sideboards and uh, yeah, we good saw old days. We, we saw a driver win eighteen times from the back row. Yeah. That argument is anybody wants to argue that is has been has not been to Willamette Speedway. I'll tell you. I that. think I think it just makes it more interesting for the fans. It's just so more. So if you're okay, it's so much more fun to, instead of watching some. And we saw it the other night in in almost every division. Fast car on the front, take off and gone. We did see that. And to me, that it, it made it uneventful. You know, where where a, where a guy has to earn it, right? By passing that's, again, you that's know, just and, what and we're used to. Right, seeing. right. I'm not saying it's a bad format. I think there was some good things about it. I think I think we could debate either way on this. You and know, you're going to get that. You're going to yeah, get that. Yeah. I was throwing my thoughts and feelings out there about yeah. this deal because it is so I'm new hoping to, to get a little feedback this. from somebody here. Well, and we're we're uh, Tim Archer says he got one and eight odds. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> valid point. Yeah, well. um, you know, and Gray Ferrando says, hey, at least the heat races mean something now, and they do. They mean a right. lot. The, the heat races mean a lot because if you don't get into that redraw, you know, <clears throat> like last night or Saturday night. You were going to start no better than ninth if you didn't get into the redraw. Yeah. You know, I put you in the mid-pack mid against some fast cars. That's a hard place to start, especially when you're behind the fast guys already. Right, you know right. I mean? so, oh, yeah. And we're going to get, you're going to get the opposite point of view from several people, and that's okay. You know, opinions are... They're, um, Ask, that's what we're asking for. Yeah, let's I, let's have like, some opinions. We'd love to hear some thoughts and feelings on that. I mean... There's going to be drivers that argue both ways, and right, I get it. Right. I, I see the benefit of, of. I see it both ways myself. I I just we're just going to have to wait from an, and, and talking, get a race or two under our belt, and, yeah. and see how it works. You know, I mean. But from an entertainment standpoint, I would much rather watch Rob Maya and Joey Tanner start, start in the back, right? Absolutely. Than start on the front row. I, I couldn't agree more. Or, I mean, can you? That's me a, personally. Right. Like you're saying, yeah. I mean, if you got a if you got a front row of uh, of Maya and and John Duty or Colin Weinbarger and Joey Tanner. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of entertainment in watching those guys take off and, and you know. Yeah. Until they get to lap traffic, if they get to lap traffic. Right. You know, then right. things start changing and you know, you get you get some late stage action. Yeah. For for, for being lapped, you know. And, uh, shoot. <clears throat> What's fun in that? Right. <laughs> I hear you. So, for entertainment um, value, you're I'm absolutely give it right. Some time. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad format. I think we'll see some good things come out of it. But um, it's, it's hard. Uh, what I'm saying is it's hard to get used to watching. It is. Yeah. You know, um, after seeing it done different for so long, and you know, the last few years, there's been some some experiments, and some have worked. Some, and they've made pretty good changes so far over the last couple of years. And you know. Yeah. And 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 I believe he stated on that on the uh, oh, yeah. up, update on the rules that you know subject to change. There, he know, says so they're going to be monitoring, listening monitoring, to see if right, there are right. changes that need to be adjusted. And, and, and if so they we have just a question, need to get some races under our belt and see how it goes, and right. then then we'll come back and talk about it, and hopefully mm -hmm. we get some interaction with our listeners and mm -hmm. and get some uh, good feedback. And and right. uh, you know maybe right now would be a good time for that if you guys want to call in. Hit us on the uh, Crocker's Cars call in line five zero three eight six two three four seven eight. 
Swears Trucking chat line is up.